The Perth community now has an opportunity to join an exciting project focused on the Western School Prawns in the Swan and Canning Rivers following the launch of Prawn Watch. The Citizen Science Program is an integral part of the Western School Prawn Program that aims to restock the rivers and reignite the once popular pastime of prawning on the Swan and Canning Rivers. Community is, is fundamental to this project. We're really interested in understanding what's happened to the prawns in the system. The Swan River Trust is working with Challenger Institute to try and address the decline of the river prawn. So we're culturing prawns uh, and we're putting them back into the river system. We've also got Murdoch University working with the Trust as well and Challenger to try and understand what's uh, limiting the prawn naturally in the river environment. Volunteers during free training sessions conducted by the Trust will be taught to collect and log data on the abundance and distribution of prawns on a specially developed website and they will also learn the importance of returning all bycatch, including blowies, thereby protecting the foreshore and sustainable fishing. Prawn Watch is a citizen science community education program. It's, it's aimed at raising the awareness of the community of the river system and of the fishery to improve the sustainability of the river system and the fishery itself. Challenger Institute of Technology Director Greg Jenkins said his team at the Australian Centre for Applied Aquaculture Research had developed groundbreaking systems to culture the river prawn and large-scale releases were now a fortnightly reality. Um, this is a very small prawn and it very quickly became apparent to us the, the problems that that would cause us. Um, as soon as we started the culturing uh, with the protocols that we've used before for other prawns First of all, they're very small broodstock. They have very few number of eggs. A large commercial prawn like uh, Pneus monodon or black tiger prawn, which is cultured all around the world, a large female would have up to half a million eggs. These prawns, even the large ones, have 20,000, maximum 30,000 eggs. So it means you actually have to have a lot of broodstock in order to get enough larvae to culture. Rackfish West Chief Executive Dr Andrew Rowland said the success of the program to date and Prawn Watch was a perfect way for the community to get back into enjoying fishing for river prawns, particularly over the summer period. This project's really been made possible through the reinvestment of recreational fishing licence money and so it's really great to see that that money that's generated through the community through the recreational fishing licences is being put back to benefit fishing itself and, and the wider environment in the Perth region. Spending a warm summer's night prawning with family and friends is once a really iconic pastime in, in Perth and, and this project will hopefully go a long way to restoring that activity for the community. This project was made possible by the Swan River Trust, Challenger Institute of Technology, Murdoch University and the Recreational Fishing Initiatives Fund and is supported by Rec Fish West and the WA Department of Fisheries. Murdoch University's research, funded through the Fisheries Research Development Corporation and the Trust, is associated with the restocking project, and data from Prawn Watch will contribute to understanding the distribution and abundance of the Western School prawn. Releasing prawns in a habitat where they're going to survive is, is critical to um, getting the prawns to survive. Um, so we look for areas that have the right water quality conditions, the right temperature, right salinity, uh, a good covering of weeds so that they can hide from predators and an absence of big predatory fish like blowies and blackburn. So tonight we're releasing prawns in the lower end of the Canning Estuary. Um, we will be releasing prawns throughout the area of the estuary that they occur in at this time of year. So all around Melville Water, Dalkeith, Point Water, Matilda Bay, Coma. This funds some $330,000 over uh, uh, three years. So that's a large amount of money, but it's great, you know, that uh, wreckfish uh, people know that that's uh, contributing to, as we know, that, that how the prawning used to be for families on the river on warm nights. To get involved in Prawn Watch, log on to www.riverguardians.com slash projects slash prawnwatch.